guys, welcome back to our Advent series on the 12th day of Advent. My true love gave to me. Boop, boop, bop, and pajon. Oh yeah. So today's meal is kind of hitting back to the old roots of Korea. We have our bibimbap here, which I'll give you a close up on. We have carrots here, radish, zucchini. We have some mushroom here, broccoli, bulgogi, lettuce, and an egg on top and the rice under the egg. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. And then we have our hemur pajan. It looks like there's some kind of soup here. This is the sauce that goes with the bimbap, some kimchi, and it looks like some radish soup. Radish beef soup. Yes, radish and beef soup. All right, let's dig in. So, little history lesson here. Pibimbap was originated originally because people took their leftovers, mixed it with the rice, and sometimes meat. Now, this overall is very fusion, in case you didn't know. Uh, traditionally, zucchini is correct, but it's not cut this way. It's cut in circles here. But normally, they'll cut it like ch 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 All right, radish normally cut thinner. Carrots, that's cut okay. However, the seasoning is mostly garlic and salt and a little bit of sesame oil. Lettuce is very fusion, but that's okay. It's taking in the culture of, you know, taking those leftovers and throwing it into the bibimbap, so that's fine. Broccoli is very fusion too. Bulgogi, well-off families, you know, added bulgogi. That's fine. Uh, this is some kind of mushroom. I'm not sure. I've never seen it before in bibimbap, uh, but most of the time, gosari, fern. Some kind of fern that's mostly used in bibimbap. And you use gochujang paste. It's a red pepper paste and they normally put like sesame oil and they put sugar, garlic, and then they put sesame oil in it and then drop it on top like this. Oh yeah. Okay, and I love sauce so I'm gonna dig in there and get everything that I can. Ooh! Peeping. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I love bibimbap. I love it so much. It's like one of my favorite foods. You know, you have to really mix it though to get it. But you know, it's really funny because I know a lot of women who like bibimbap, but I don't know a lot of men who like bibimbap. Maybe because it's kind of like a mixture of all foods and kind of almost like a salad in a sense. But yeah, I love bibimbap. I love eating it. And you kind of want to, you know, mix it all in together and eat it that way. So if you're the type of person who likes to eat everything individually, this might not be the food for you. Um, I'm sure everything tastes good on its own, but you know, you want to kind of mix it in and enjoy your food, okay? Oh, I'm kind of nervous about the broccoli, uh, but they did cut it up pretty thin, so I'm not too nervous. Oh, oh pot up. Okay, all right. All right, let's get it. It's a good wrist uh, exercise. <laughs> And the egg needs to be yolky. It has to be yellow and jiggly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't want a hard egg, hard boiled egg. If you don't like eggs, you can omit that. If you don't like meat, you can omit that. You can have it vegan, even. All right, let's dig in, guys. Let's um, see what their pea about tastes like. Let me show you. All right. Oh! oh. All right. Oh! Let's get some soup. This is radish and beef soup. Mm. Very easy to make. This soup is normally made with radish, beef, pepper. Uh, I think they use soy sauce on here. You don't have to use soy sauce. You just cook it, it self cooks, and then you just add a little bit of salt later. Mm. Mm. Honestly, I love bibimbap so much. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> and we have the pajan here. 
Let's see what's in there. Hemmer Pajan. This is Hemmer Pajan. I see little red specks everywhere. I think it's basically the imitation crab, but I could be wrong. I want to be wrong. So the history of Pajan too. In South Korea, there was abundance of pa, which is spring onion, and that's why they made these. And you know, Korea is a peninsula, so they have a lot of seafood. So Hemmer is seafood. Pajan is pancake, so it's a seafood pancake. Another thing Koreans have abundance of is kimchi. So that's why they have kimchi pajan. So they're just cooking with the abundance that they have, guys. Let me show you guys. I, um, I think they give a little bit of seafood in here, which, you know, this was kind of like an appetizer, so I'm not too bummed out about. But, like, I literally, it was like one centimeter of octopus that I felt, and I think everything else is just imitation crab. Mmm. 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 Cheers. Bam. Mm. And the little guy right here, kimchi. Kimchi is the necessity. If you have bad kimchi, you're automatically deemed as a bad restaurant, all right? This is like the core of Korean panchan, which is side dish. Not fully fermented, but good. It's still fresh. And this is the outer layer of the egg. It should be that crispy. Mm. In Korea, well, I don't know if this is a Korean thing or if it's a Korean American thing, but when we were little, our moms would get hot rice, cook an egg, get some butter and soy sauce, mix it in. Oh, oh yeah. It's the comfort food of comfort foods. So good. Pajan is so good on a rainy day. Just like some people crave pizza on rainy days, like me. Pajan is so good on a rainy day with some makgeolli, which is like a fermented rice wine. Very good. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, I really appreciate the soup mm. that they gave us because you need something to bring it down, the food, you know? So good. This is like comfort food of comfort foods for me. Huge fan of pimpap. Cheers. Boop. Uh. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go through how to make pimpap. Mm. How much that? So good, guys. Mm. What are some Korean comfort foods that you want me to eat and kind of show you the roots? So good. Where did all my rice go? Hold on. Suck boy, you go. Clear. My ancestors will be proud. But not proud of the fact that this is $20. Oh my gosh, so expensive. All Korean food in America is so expensive. Jajangmyeon in Korea, I think it's like $5 now. In America, it's like $15 or $20, depending on where you live. Mm. And you can make it at home for like four bucks. Mm. Mm. 
잘 먹었습니다. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on this Advent day and see you on the next Advent day. Bye!